Hi, I'm Susan Sayer, founder and CEO of The Code Club. And I am Mika Goldberg, a life and leadership coach. Welcome to The Koa Club TV. Today, we are very, very thrilled to have with us an amazing woman, um, Penny Williams. So Penny you, is the VP of Marketing at Engine. So she is a very forward-thinking leader um, in, with demonstrated ability to innovate and champion ideas. Um, she has strong management skills. One of my favorite people that I know because, because she, and no, no matter anything that you have to do in between when we were doing things together, no matter what I've seen you done, you always do it in you know more than excel than in what i expect so so uh, it was so great thank to you, have Susan. you here today thank you and also just want to just let our audience know that you know besides being such a great person at work you also love you know life itself you love to travel mm -hmm. you know you love people meeting people in general and you love fitness which is something i like yeah, too I so, <laughs> so we're nice. a little bit competitive <laughs> <about it. laughs> weightlifting yeah yeah exactly love it. exactly love it. so thank you for being here i really appreciate you, thank you, for you know, spending time with you us both. today especially on a really hot day today but in any case so let me start by asking you what is your typical day like well, you know, that sort of has been completely turned upside down. What, what if you would ask me, of course, a while ago. But um, a typical day is um, getting the family out of the house. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, then I, and then I have the house to myself, which is, which is good now with this work from home. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, nice. yeah. And, um, and I work with a team that is completely, I have a new role um, as of uh, several months ago. And my team is almost entirely on the East Coast. Okay. Oh. So what's really interesting about that is I actually love the uh, the time zone difference because they've been doing things all morning. Then it's a solid like six hours mm -hmm. nice. of just going. Wow. And then um, and trying to get a, a break in for like a walk right. um, to take care of yourself as well. And then they start to simmer down when it's you know five six o'clock their time, and then our West Coast folks, I can we, then we can meet. Mm -hmm. And so it actually works out really really well. Uh, then try to get into the uh, the gym. Mm -hmm. After that, have a couple of classes. I how do I take. know that you? Are <laughs> <laughs> no matter how busy your day is, yeah. you never miss the gym, Going which is well. great. I love it. Got to get that in <laughs> for the sanity. Uh, and then and then come home and um, and then wind down for the day. Oh, put okay. my daughter to bed and okay. Yeah, okay. Wow, that sounds like you have a packed full day, but in the same time, you are able to schedule in things that are important to you, like mm -hmm. your gym and you know spending time with your daughter and you know. Uh, I mean, I think that's all great. I mean, sometimes it's very difficult to try and do all that stuff. But it, but it is difficult, and yeah. you have to. I would never have done that years and years ago. Mm -hmm. I would not have. I would have just worked and worked and worked. That so, that would have been my next question. Is uh, you do have some me time in your busy day, right? Going to the gym. I mean, I know how important that is. I, I go pretty much every day too, so I know how important that is. Um, but the alignment between professional responsibilities and private responsibilities, responsibilities to ourselves. Mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you learn to strike that balance? And do you have any tips and tricks that you apply? It's a day by day mm -hmm. okay. thing. It's always changing. So if there are those sort of those non-negotiables there's a couple mm -hmm. of for example i love these two classes at the gym yeah so though i go mm -hmm. to those yeah but then the other days of the week it's a little easier to slide or mm -hmm. to yeah. you know and you have to make yourself go mm -hmm. so so there's the reality of that yeah. um and then uh, and then with my daughter, that's where it gets really, really tricky, um, especially with uh, summer summer breaks. Sure. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Is is trying to do that balance, but um, I can't do it without the help of my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom moved here when she was six weeks old, and that's yeah. the secret to success. Yeah. To success there, and I think a lot of people will. Yeah. Uh, would say the same. It's, That's they great. can't do it without yeah. family. For yeah. sure. That yeah. makes a lot of mm -hmm. sense because mm -hmm. sometimes it's just really hard, if, especially if both, you know, if the spouse, both spouses work mm -hmm. and then you have kids, if you have one or more kids, mm -hmm. you know, some, you need to be able to balance it and yeah. it's kind of hard. To, if you have family, that's always mm -hmm. such yeah. a nice luxury to yeah. have family to help. It yeah. is. I, I, we literally could not do it without her. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. I'm glad. Just grateful as long as she's willing to do it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. We are just blessed yeah. with every single day. Yeah. I still don't know how you guys do it with kids. <laughs> I, I, told you, I, don't, I don't have any kids. I only have a dog, and she's really demanding already as it is. So I can't well, even ask my daughter. She's <laughs> not. She's so she's here. Yeah. So folks should, could yeah. know that she's actually here. Right. Because right. this is you know then right. dad has some the, time. Yeah. This is right how now. this is how this, this is works. It's summer. It's and summer. You just, you just have to play it by ear in the in some respect. She's, and of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Penny's daughter is our director right now. Yes, so. <laughs> she's her helping stuffed with animals. the filming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We might have to keep her here permanently. Yes. You she know, like you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get her in there now. Yeah, she's exactly. Like, her That's right. We get her started yeah. now. Yeah. Exactly. She's like, I'm leaving now. <laughs> as yeah. as we were talking about uh, this not being an easy juggle mm -hmm. with all the things, uh, was there a point when you were just like about to give up, just like, help, maybe I don't need a corporate career or? My secret, um, my secret ideal is to go, I say this all the time, people mm -hmm. laugh at me, is to um, work at Trader Joe's. Okay. okay. Fixed okay. schedule? No, physical. No. Physical? Okay. okay. I don't have to take it home with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I want to be not in a chair. Yeah. Okay. You know? no, no. <laughs> I like Trader Joe's specifically, no. though. They, they have good stuff. They look yeah, that's true. That they look like like very friendly. Very friendly. Yes. Very friendly grocery yes. store, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. They, they look happy. They look, yeah. uh, it, I think, I, in theory, they, they you know treat treat folks well, is my understanding. And so, yeah. um, and then just to, uh, yeah, so that's that's yeah. why. But um, but you stayed the course. But I stayed the course. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing wrong. Nothing yeah, wrong with working for no. TJs, but I can't you wait. Did stay, you, you, stay, you did stay the course, but so. you can always have. Yeah, you can yeah. always have that fantasy. I can. You, know, you can't yeah. have that fantasy. I do um, because I do really enjoy what I do. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. 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 So you know, I think if I didn't, I would be out on that off ramp as quickly as I you know possibly yeah. could. Mm -hmm. But um, but I do love it. In fact, I will. Um, my husband knows that I will be working. He, you know, he will retire far earlier than I yeah. ever will. Okay. I just, um, I enjoy working. Okay. It's what I've always yeah. wanted to do. As soon yeah. as I got out of school, I, I graduated a semester early and wanted to be working mm -hmm. immediately. So yeah. that was the vision I had for myself and I just, I just enjoy it. Yeah. And I think that's important for younger uh, viewers to know. It's like, if you feel like you got yourself into a should career, mm -hmm. you will have a hard time building the resilience and, mm -hmm. and enjoying it that much because that gets really hard. There are times when even when you do what you love, mm -hmm. you wanna you wanna pack groceries instead. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. So so it's really important to have the strong why and the enjoyment. Mm -hmm. At least one at a time, right? right I mean, right. And, and, and you're not, you're not gonna people. have enjoyment yeah. every single day. No. I mean, that's mm -hmm. just the reality no. of it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. in, in every job, in any job, actually, yeah. I think that there are gonna be some jobs that you're gonna be some days is, is gonna be. This is the most fabulous thing I'm doing, right? Because yeah. you're doing, you're achieving the things that you want to achieve. And then some days you're just like, really, I want to go pack groceries <laughs> and Trader Joe's. I'll be right there with you. <laughs> 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 They will be very surprised if we, <laughs> if we show up this get afternoon. I get a super. So I, I will yeah. say that um, on, a, on a real tactical level, yeah. um, you know, sort of semi and half jokingly to yeah. fulfill some of that, um, I did actually work at um, a pottery barn yeah. for oh. a couple of years yeah. as, a, as a fun job and okay. sort of fulfilling mm -hmm. that. And it was really fun. And to be in such yeah. a beautiful space, oh, yeah. they, the brand yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. Um, not to keep mentioning names, but the did you take did you take money home? Because I remember when I worked in retail, it was basically <laughs> working for product. <laughs> no. I, I worked in fashion. Uh, <laughs> like, I like, no, but I, have the fur I still have the furniture now. Yeah. I still yeah. have That's everything so now. Yeah. I would. Yeah, there's some secrets and tips there. Not that yeah. yeah. it was, fun. It was exactly. really fun. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. But, but yeah. that really and it is half joking. But there yeah. is that side of it where it's that job where you don't have to take. At home. That's it was right. Really, true. really fun. That's right. True. So I really enjoyed and got a yeah. lot of fulfillment out of that yeah. too. Yeah. Um, it won't pay the bills, but yeah, yeah. Fun. for sure, for sure. It's good that you had the different kind of experiences, so you yes. can balance it and know like what you've done before versus like and what you're doing real, now, which yeah. is like, important. Go have yeah. fun, go do something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Slide in a second. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For and sure. again, yeah. I think it's so important for for everybody, especially younger women, to hear that you don't need to know when you're, let's say, 25. Uh, what you're going to do for the rest of your career. Mm -hmm. You are allowed to, even if it doesn't look like you're allowed mm -hmm. to experiment, mm -hmm. you are. 
And, huh? and that's the funny thing that the, the guests that we have uh, so far that yeah. we've interviewed, they all never came in the straight career path. Yeah. They came, they did different things yeah. and you, they thought maybe this is where they're going to be. And then over time, they just went through yeah. different things until they landed where they are really happy at yeah. eventually, yeah. right? Yeah. So so I'm really glad that you you, you really yeah. love what you're doing right now, I which do. is fantastic. And I'm yeah. just an amazing team, but it takes a lot of trial. You yeah. don't know from an yeah. interview. Yeah. You don't know from what it looks like outside. Right. If it's going right. to be a fit for right. you. Right, right. Exactly. And I, early on in my career, said, "Well, I, I fit in anywhere. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. what's you know, I can kind of." It's a mindset. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah. just, am, uh, you know, there have been a couple of points in my career, and I'm in one of them right now, where I am in with an amazing team, and I mm -hmm. expect to be there for many, many years. Yeah. 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 So that's a really good feeling, and it's a big relief as well because when you're in those positions where you just feel like you're not good enough, or you feel yeah. like you're just mm -hmm. not going to succeed, or there's there's you know, you run into those sometimes where it's just a, it's just not a fit, an alignment, mm -hmm. and it's not, it's okay. Right, yeah, it's, right. And that's okay. That's right. That's so right. just do something else. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody feels that at times. Some mm -hmm. people more often or more strongly mm -hmm. than others, mm -hmm. but it's just so important, no matter how straightforward a career looks on paper, mm -hmm. it's still there. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not a, any failure. No, you don't think normal. of it as a failure it's if normal. you have to switch and move to something else that yeah. you know will fit you better. And which do it is sooner fine. rather than later. Yeah, do it sooner We never do later. that. We yes, feel like I it's know. a failure to I know. know, exactly. And that's the thing that they always say about generally about no. women wanting to be perfectionists. We don't want to move to a different job it unless we know we really are going to be good, great at a different yeah. job. And then it's like, why do we do this yeah. to ourselves, yes, right? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So I'm going to divert from this line mm -hmm. of questioning to something quite different. As you know, COA Club is, COA is all about being fearless mm -hmm. and brave. Um, and so I would like to know, we would like to know, what is the bravest thing you've done? So, you know, I think when, when, you, when people think about that, um, it's often the things that they didn't think were very brave you know, at the time. Mm -hmm, they just sure. take it for granted. Right. It's mm -hmm. just who they were. But if you were to ask somebody else, mm -hmm. that would be considered, it, it depends mm -hmm. on that perspective. I totally so, yeah. so I would say that to me it wasn't really brave, um, but uh, I moved around the country without a job mm -hmm. in most places. Mm -hmm. um, so I moved from middle of nowhere, upstate New York, could not wait to get out of college. Girlfriend and I packed up um, and we were literally at her parents' pool up in Buffalo, New York, um, and uh, looking at a map of the U.S. and mm -hmm. saying, where are we going to go? And okay. we ended up, we decided on Dallas. Um, and so we drove down to Dallas, didn't have jobs, mm -hmm. and uh, we locked in an apartment uh, with the help of her sister. Um, and uh, I lived there, which my girlfriend still lives there, <laughs> and which is great. And um, then, um, uh, then I moved to New York, mm -hmm. um, did not... Did I have an actual job going? I think, me, no, I didn't have an actual job yet. Um, stayed with a couple of friends and then got my apartment soon afterward and then moved to Los Angeles. I mm -hmm. always wow. wanted to live in LA. Okay. Yeah. There I did have a job going into it. I, I went ahead and um, went out in, uh, for a week mm -hmm. early and um, and then did secure a job there. Mm -hmm. And then um, to Seattle. So, wow. Um, wow. Yes. And I had thought I would pick up and move to um, London, um, but met my husband two and a half weeks after I moved to Seattle. So okay. uh, here, yeah. I, so here that, I sit, yeah, a very yeah. long time long later. Time. But I don't think of that as a big deal. Yeah. I mean, so it I is a big really deal, actually. Yeah, yeah. But you've been It is a big places. deal. No, but the thing is that to, to really pick up and leave and go to and live in yeah. different places. I mean, it's one thing to travel, just to travel and have, you know, but to actually travel, move someplace in different places, to live fun. in different I think, I think that's fun. It takes a lot of bravery, actually, I to do it. I don't think so. I think that's just fun. See, it's because that's the kind of person you are. You are just a very adventurous person. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're coming to my favorite question and the director may just not listen to this one. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, what is the advice you would give your 16 year old mm -hmm. self? Mm -hmm. I always like that one. Yeah, I know. It's a good one. You know, I think we covered on, I think we touched on some of that, but um, in terms of there's no one straight mm -hmm. way to do that. But what I would say bar none is to be authentic to yourself. Mm. Yes. Gosh, I spent yes. how long mm -hmm. trying to be, because our parents are constantly trying to mold us into right. you know, good people with the best of intentions. Of course. And, um, but almost to a strict box that mm -hmm. you're trying to fit in. 
Yeah. And uh, and then even our school systems, right? Um, right. They there's like there's uh, generally one right answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, if you don't yeah, have it, I yeah. always felt like oh, there was my shot. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't yeah. get it. You know, insane. and uh, so we're just constantly being shaped into this one thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, and then when I worked, I worked for ad agencies. That's how, when I moved around the country. I was mm -hmm. working for ad agencies, and I uh, was. Um, uh, which was great fun, um, but you're always working for a client. Mm -hmm. You're working for um, not only your agency, but then also your client. Right. And you're right. and you're and you're, they're very much about the, especially in the agency world, very much about the we. Mm -hmm. We did this, right? Yeah. And so, but then when you go to interview for jobs, otherwise it's no. But tell me what you, you did. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Right. And it's mm -hmm. trying to shake mm -hmm. the we out of you. Yeah, right. and yeah. trying to. But no, but get, tell me what you did. Mm -hmm. And then you weren't, you weren't really planning. You, you did. I, that was new to me when mm -hmm. I came out and had to start figuring out what the what the right. I was. So that going into a job, making sure that I knew what where I was making a difference. Okay, mm -hmm. not. As part of a team, right? right. Yeah. That, that's that's actually really interesting because a, a lot of times the do our jobs that we do, it is a lot about you know the team, everything we do about the team. Yeah. But is it really your you know what part of you is? I mean, you contributed yeah. to the team, yeah. but really is is it your vision? Is it right. your who who are yeah. you? What did you, know? you contribute? Yeah. What did you contribute? Yeah. And what what is it that you want to do? What is it that yeah. what is it you who are who are you? You right. know, so right. so that what is, is really it do you want to come out of? So yeah. that's right. what I would say to my sixteen yeah. year old self is what what outcome do you want yeah. on the other side of that is thinking about that outcome because right. the outcome was always um, a specific job role, mm -hmm. a specific mm -hmm. title, yeah, or a specific company. Yeah. It wasn't what's my contribution coming out of yeah. this. Yeah, your contribution, your impact. Yes. Um, yeah. Right. And so then, when I mentor, yeah. it's really, really important to me to make sure that they do that. that yeah. They know where yeah. their contributions are, and mm -hmm. let them shine. And to call it out on Slack, or to, yeah. to call it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my one of my our founder recently had said something about a one of my team members, um, and she said, "I know that that's your doing." And I said, "No, you know." We're on a, he and I are in alignment. Mm -hmm. yeah. He knew a lot of that. I, I'm just nurturing it. Yeah. But he, you know, and I will absolutely make sure that they shine. That's great. Yes. You know? Yes. Make each other shine. Yes. 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 I and think it's so important. Mentor, yeah. Mentoring is, is so, so important mm -hmm. um, for younger professionals. Mm -hmm. So thank you for doing that too right, on top exactly. of everything you're doing yeah. so i mean that's the thing too that with you you have you have also spent your time not just climbing the corporate ladder mm -hmm. but you've also spent a lot of time giving back yeah. in terms of like you know um, working at outreach mm -hmm, working mm -hmm. at blue canoe mm -hmm. nonprofits that you have contributed mm -hmm. your your time effort mm -hmm. and passion to yeah those were nonprofits, but yeah but, but yes i do yeah um, right. i do in other places as well absolutely yeah, which is i just great. enjoy it yeah that's um, great yes that's, you know those that outlet so making sure you have that outlet mm -hmm. if you're not getting some piece of who you are in your job yeah. having that outlet somewhere else yeah. otherwise you'll be banging groceries at trees that's right yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing, <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> So before we wrap up, any last words, uh, anything we didn't ask, anything we need to You would like to share with the audience? Um, yes. I think we covered it. I, I, I really want to uh, really want to express how important that authenticity is yeah. mm -hmm. and knowing yeah. who you are yeah. um, and being, uh, and that's where I would encourage my daughter as well. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I do encourage her to be who she is. I don't want to take that, take mm -hmm. away from yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, and also, one of the other uh, one of the other pieces, quickly is, um, part of that authenticity is knowing what it is that you get enjoyment out of. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, as a kid, it's a particular, um, you know, toy or something, and really delve into that and really enjoy it and really be um, yep. be good at it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, versus seeing a shiny object somewhere else and trying to be good at right. that and that and that and that right. and that and trying and then you're kind of all over the place but when you're an expert in something mm -hmm. then that gives you a lot of confidence yes I agree. and it, do it doesn't matter what it is cooking right. toys yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um yeah. Uh, you know anything that you want to be an expert mm -hmm. at that just makes you more interesting right. and it just gives you so much confidence. so for me right now i would say a lot of that is fitness okay okay where over the past several years i've just really gone all in 
and I, I just know quite a lot, yeah. and um, yeah. that gives gives me a lot of energy. Yeah. So I, I would yeah. say that as well. Doing as something, basically doing something that really that uh, that you know you love, mm -hmm. that you're passionate about, and that you can become really good at. Yeah. And even if you're not very good at, so that you're passionate, you can work <laughs> at no. it. You can work yeah. at yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. That's right. You're constantly right. you exactly. That's and obvious. then you can take the skills eventually, and it's transferable to other things. But you you should definitely do. What I always say, you do what you love. Yeah. And then be kind to yourselves if you mm -hmm. don't do, you know, if, you, if things aren't working out, mm -hmm. don't beat yourself up too no. much. It's fine, you yep. know, yeah. yeah. That's where sure. confidence comes from. That's yeah. from confidence comes yes. from, yeah. that's right. And speaking of authentic, before we wrap up, I was just speaking of authentic stuff, you're, you're one of the most authentic person I've ever met. Right? Thank you. That's why we could, that's, that's what I, like, the first time I met you and after we spent, you know, over the years, over in getting to know each other, I was like, you know, Penny, it's just, whatever, I, when I, we talk to each other, whatever you say, you just come, come out as somebody so sincere and who lo who really loves what she does yes. you know which thank is you, great Susan. thank you for being thank here thank you really, really thank you very it. much yes. it was great having you thank, thank you. you if you enjoyed this conversation check out our other videos uh, follow us on the social media share it with your friends and most importantly be a leader on your own terms be brave be koa <laughs>